guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my go-to makeup look, which is just this one right here that I've been wearing in all of my sit-down videos. I've been getting so many comments and being like, oh my God, share this makeup routine. Like, we love it. You're glowing. So I just decided to film that for you guys today. And all these products, I will have linked down below for you guys. I just feel like they're products that I tend to always go back to, even though I try out so many different products. These ones are truly just like my holy grails they really work well for my skin they like do everything i want they give you like the glowy natural look also with having a lot more coverage than just wearing like my typical summer beauty products and also i feel like whenever my friends and family are asking me for like makeup recommendations i'm always telling them to try these products they truly are amazing and i just like really really like them and i wanted to share this makeup routine with you guys and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love if you joined our little family. It would mean so much to me. So without further ado, let's get started. And the first product that I applied to my face before anything else, which is like my new holy grail, I discovered these over the summer, so you guys would have seen them in my videos recently. Um, but they are just the Concentrated Luminizing Drops by Algenist. So what I do is I will just open up little container and then put a little drop on my finger just like that and then I just rub it together and apply that directly to my face and as you can see it just really luminizes your face and makes it just look a lot more radiant so I love to do that before I like prime my skin and put on foundation just because I don't really know if I should put these on before primer or after primer. Sometimes I do it after, sometimes I do it before, but I don't really know like if it actually like really matters. And the next item I use is just the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So I just shake that up and it comes in like a really sleek packaging. I love Rihanna's packaging with this. She did an amazing job. All of her products are just like so clean looking and it just comes in a little glass bottle, which sometimes I feel like is a lot more like clean and like better for your skin than if it were to be like in a plastic container um my mom always just says that like glass is so much better than plastic so i like how these products come in a glass bottle and i just take a little drop of that and apply it on my skin and i feel like the fenty beauty products literally feel like liquid silk i'm my friend morgan and i always talk about that we're like they feel so good on your skin it's absolutely amazing i just feel like I don't know, you don't feel like you're wearing makeup, but you have makeup on. And the next product I use is just the Fenty Beauty Foundation, and I'm in the shade 260, and that's the shade that matched me with my self-tanner. I would recommend going to Sephora, and they do a really cool thing where if you already know your shade in a different foundation, they will literally take what shade you are. Say you use like the Urban Decay Naked, and you know that you're in the shade like 4.5 or whatever. They go into their computer, they'll type it in, and they will get all the matches to the foundation that you already use but like the different shades in another foundation if that makes sense to you guys so what i did is i told them my shade in the urban decay naked and then they gave me my shade in the fenty and then they let you like try it out to see if it matches and everything like that so i highly would recommend like going to sephora and having them like swatch it for you and get to know your true color just so it matches your skin because i know everybody's skin is different and i also apply it with the fenty beauty foundation brush it's just the 110 I think it's her only foundation brush or one of them. And I just take a little pump of that, kind of put the product all over my face. And I don't know, I just kind of like tap it around, rub it in little circles. I don't really know, I just like apply it all over. And once I'm done with foundation, I will take the same brush, which I know I should get the blending brushes for the matchsticks, but I just haven't got them yet. So that's definitely like the next thing on my list. Um, but I just use two of the Fenty Beauty matchsticks. I have like the trio, so it comes with the concealer, which is in the shade Bamboo. It comes with the like bronzer stick, which is in the shade Mocha. And then I know it also has a highlight stick in the shade Trippin. So that's like the one that I have, if you guys are wondering. And first I just take the conceal stick and I literally just draw little like half swoops underneath my eyes. And then sometimes I'll do some like a little bit on my forehead and my nose. Just, you know, like if I'm really feeling it that day. Um, and then I just go ahead and blend that out. And when I do it, I'm, like blend it out underneath my eye. I kind of just like tap the product in. 
and like move in like a triangular motion. And always make sure that you look up when you are putting concealer on just because you don't want any creases underneath your eye. And once that is done, I am going to be applying the bronzer stick and I kind of just do it underneath my cheekbones, on my forehead, on the sides of my nose, a little bit like underneath the tip of my nose and then on my jawline. And then when blending this out, you always wanna make sure that you're moving in an upward motion, just because it's gonna really lift your face a lot more. Instead of like dragging it down, it's gonna like bring up and highlight these lines. And sometimes these products can be kind of hard to blend out, so I definitely recommend using a brush rather than like a beauty sponge just because I feel like the Fenty products like blend out a lot better. And then after foundation and concealer, I am going to be putting on the Fenty Beauty setting powder and I just use this one right here. And it's like a compact one, which I really, really like. So it's not like that loose powder that gets everywhere because I feel like setting powder is so messy. So I just like the convenience of the compact one. And I just am using the Sephora 201 powder brush. And it has a blush side on the um, opposite side. So it's like powder and blush, which I really like because you can have like both of your brushes like a duo on one i just feel like it's really convenient especially like with traveling you don't always want to be like carrying five million brushes with you so this one i just feel like is super convenient i really love the sephora brushes and then next i just take the Too faced chocolate bronzer with this big real techniques fluffy brush it's just their powder brush and i get a lot of my bronzer on it and then i'm just gonna put it all over my face because i do wear self tanner so I want it to be able to match my neck and just look like really seamless. So I apply it all down my neck just because you don't want like your face and your neck to be different colors. And then after that, I'm just going to be taking this angled brush right here and then really going in and highlighting like my cheekbones and the top of my forehead. Just like adding a little bit more definition to my face. And what I like to do, if you guys like don't really contour, well, I don't really contour, I don't really do it. Like, I don't know, I'm not like a makeup guru, but what I do is I just kind of like draw threes on my face. And I, actually my mom taught me that a long, long time ago. So I just kind of like do my forehead area, cheekbone, and then jawline. Oh! So when you're doing makeup, just remember, all you really need is just two little threes on the side and then I just put a little bit on the sides of my nose and then the front and you're good to go and then after I use the Tarte blush it's the Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in the shade party and I really really love this blush just for like winter and fall I just feel like it's a really nice color it doesn't have any shimmer in it and it just gives you a little bit of warmth like little rosy cheeks kind of like not a sun-kissed glow but almost like the redness or like the rosiness of when you're like out in the cold and then you come inside and your cheeks like look warm that's kind of the look that this gives you it's not going to give you like a glowy look just because i don't really feel like i like that during the winter just because in boston it's so cold out so i just like to use this blush and i feel like it applies really nice you really don't need a lot of the product just to get it to show up on your skin. So that is what I do. And then to finish off my makeup look, I always do highlighter, like if I'm really feeling it. And the highlighter I love is just the Laura Geller highlighter in the shade Guiled Glow. I'll show you the back of it, but this is just what it looks like. And then the inside guys, it is a huge highlight. So I just take this little Sephora brush, swish it around. Put some on my cheekbones, tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. And then to finish it off, I just used two Dior products on my eyes, and I've been using the Dior Lash Primer for literally the longest time ever, and I used to use it with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which I will also have linked down below, but I just apply some of the Lash Primer directly on my lashes, and then I just got this Dior Pump 
in volume mascara. It's the Dior Show one. And I got it for 100 points from Sephora and I really, really love it. I just feel like when you use a Dior lash primer and then use this mascara with it, it like works so well together. That's why I tend to use some of the same brand products. Like obviously I used all the Fenty products. I just feel like they really like mix well together on your face. So I like to take a little compact mirror like this and kind of like put it underneath my eye so I can get all of my lashes and then I move the like brush in an upward motion like that. So I'm kind of like sifting through my lashes to get it on all of them. And it really just adds a lot of volume. And the Dior Lash Primer makes it so your eyesha eyeshadow, makes it so your mascara like won't move or anything and it won't flake off during the day. I just feel like it's such an amazing product and it's definitely worth the money. I think it's around like $30, but it lasts you forever. I've had this one right here for like months. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the other eye. And then to finish off my makeup look, I just like to use a lip product. And I like something that's gonna be hydrating and moisturizing and also like give you like a nice gloss, a nice sheen on your lip. And what I've been loving is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, it is a sleeping mask you can put on before bed, but I like to use it during the day as well. And I just got some on my finger. Put that right on my lips. It smells so good. It's like literally the best lip product ever. So many of you guys have messaged me on Instagram saying that you got it and you love it. And I know that they also just came out with a bunch of like new flavors and stuff. So you guys should definitely check them out. And that is my complete go-to makeup look that I do like in my videos or if I'm going out to dinner or something like that. Just something a little bit subtle and I don't know, I just feel like all these products are my absolute favorite. I've used so many different makeup products and these are the ones that I always tend to like fall back on, that I tend to repurchase, and that I really recommend to my friends and family. If anybody's asking me for a product recommendation, these are usually the products that I tell them. So I just really like the way that this makeup look comes out because it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup. You just kind of have like, I don't know, a nice little, glow nice little rosy cheeks and stuff like that so just super simple and natural looking which i love and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe if you like it and subscribe to join this little family and to stay updated with my videos i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye